How to integrate a banner slider in Shopify's Dawn theme. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can integrate a banner slider into your Dawn theme on Shopify. A banner slider can help you in displaying different collections as well as increasing the interactability of your Shopify storefront. Especially when you have something stagnant like this, this can be a bit undermining. Whereas a banner slider with multiple images and different types of text can help people in finding the right thing that they are looking for. You can find examples of banner sliders all over. And if I was to show you guys an example like this one over here, you guys can see this is a banner slider. So there are different types of collections being displayed upon each scroll of the banner. So I'll show you guys how to do this on your own Shopify store as well. Now to get started, the first thing you are going to do is head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Now, once you are on your Shopify dashboard, click on online store, and then in your online store, click on customize on your current life theme on Shopify. Now, once you click on uh, customize, you will see the Shopify website builder. This is a really simple website builder and you can do a lot of things with a simple drag and drop and can be a really helpful way for even beginners to build customizable and interesting websites. Now, the template image banner that you get on Shopify is not customizable for a scroll based banner. So we're going to delete this and you might wonder, hey, I don't have a banner anymore. Well, don't worry, I'll show you guys how to add one. For that, under template in your left panel, click on add section. Once you click on add section, you will see different types of sections that can be created. Now, in those particular sections, you're going to find slideshow. So just click on slideshow over here. Then click on the back icon over here and hold the slideshow by these buttons. Then move it above your featured collection. Once you've done that, click on slideshow once more in the left panel. Now you will have two options. You can make this a grid based slideshow or a full width slideshow. I'm going to keep it a full width slideshow. Then you can choose the height if you want this to be small, medium, or large. So large banners are going to pretty much occupy the entire screen. Medium ones occupy most of it, and then small ones can fit alongside your header. Now, with that, I'm going to go back. And first thing that we are going to edit further in our slideshow is the pagination style so that basically means the slide numbers i want this to be displayed in the form of dots that looks the best i don't want it to be in the form of numbers or a counter i just don't think it looks as professional as dots and i want to maybe auto rotate or i'll i will leave it uh, at a general rotate then we have our image behavior. So if I want this to be none or if I want this to be ambient movement like this. So the images are moving on their own within the banner or if they should stay stagnant. Then we have accessibility tools, our theme settings and more. Now, once we've completed that, just click on the back icon and then click on the first image slide. Click on select image and upload your relevant image for your first slide. So let's say we want to use this image. Now, once you have selected your image, one thing to note is that make sure that it is a landscape based image. This, as you guys can see, is not a landscape image. So it is a portrait based image. That's why it doesn't fit very well into this image slide. So instead, I will add a couple of slides and I will just use a couple of free images from uh, Shopify. So let's say we want to use this image over here. Then once I've selected my image, I'm going to change the heading. So in our heading, let's say I want to add Office Chic 24. And then below that, I can add a subheading, which can include more information about the particular image that is displayed behind it. So let's say this is going to be by the best office trends. And then for our button label, I wanted to say shop now. And then for the button link, I'm going to link it to a product. And let's say I want to link it to the shirt. Now below that, you have your desktop content position. So this is the desktop content. If I wanted to play, be placed in the middle center at the bottom left, 
at the bottom right you can really choose what you want for your particular section and this is really up to personal preferences upon which you want to go with this i think i would like to place it at the bottom right maybe that's like an interesting uh dynamic then below that you also have the container on this top so if you want you can also remove the container directly and that's the difference between the header that I showed you guys as the example header. They had actually removed the container and directly inserted the text onto images. And then they just inserted the images into the banner. That is one way to go, go on about this. And you can just have a simple uh, link, which would link people to that particular collection instead of having a shop now button. Now this is our first slide, then click on the second slide, and then the second st slide is also completely customizable. So I am just going to add uh, another image. So let's say we want to use this one over here, and we will just select this image, and then for the heading, we are going to directly link them to choose with style, and then I can add a subheading. Let's say I don't have one, I'll add a button label to browse. And then I can add a product link or I can even link this to a collection. I'm just going to link this to our tote bag. And then for our container, I am going to add it towards the left for the content like this. And then once I've done that, I can just click on back and then add the next slide. I think these two slides look pretty decent. So I'll just click on save over here. And just like that, our banner is ready now. If I was to show you guys what this looks like in my online store right now, this is what the slider is going to look like in your online store. You guys can see this is the slider like so. And you can add auto change where basically it changes the slide after a couple of seconds on its own. Now, if you want to replicate the original style of the example, you can go on ahead and go back into customize. And then in customize, what you're going to do is you are going to take your image slides and you're going to enter your text over there and instead of having the, the content over there you're just going to remove all of the content blocks like so so if you just want images you don't want any buttons you don't want anything just directly add the button link to your particular product and you just remove the button content then after that we are going to remove the container and then just click on save then go into your second slide like so and then with the same technique you are just going to remove the container and we're going to remove the container and then click on save now if i go back into my store and show you guys the updated version this is the updated version with just images if you only prefer to add a slider with images on your shopify store so this is how you can integrate a banner slider on your shopify store in your dawn theme I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.